San Antonio in high definition starts right now. Good evening, I'm Randy Beaver. And I'm Elsa Ramon. Whether you own your own home or you just want to rent one, you can get burned by a DDS scam targeting people here in San Antonio. And as News 4 troubleshooter Jay Avila reports, it's an elaborate scheme designed to fool innocent homeowners while also stealing from unsuspecting house hunters. The woman who lives here just put her house up for sale a few days ago. And next thing she knows, people are showing up at her front door wanting to rent the place. And they all said they had been communicating with someone claiming to be the owner. Joe Lewis was baffled. Neither she nor her realtor had spoken to anyone about leasing her house. She wants to sell it. My realtor has had 35 to 40 calls to his office, including people telling him that they had spoken to the owner and wanted into the house. It turns out someone was masquerading as the owner of Joe's home. They copied the pictures of her house off of the internet and posted phony ads on legitimate sites like Hotpads and Zillow offering to rent it for a payment that was quite low for this neighborhood. It sounded like too good to be true, which makes you think probably it is too good to be true. Becky Whittington was one of the people who responded to the phony ads. The scammers only communicate by email. They claim to be out of town on business and try to get potential renters to wire them a security deposit and first month's rent in exchange for the keys. Becky says they told her the house was vacant and to ignore the for sale sign. So don't worry about the for sale sign because it's really for rent. Fortunately, Becky trusted her instincts and contacted the real owner before sending any money. But some people have been taken in by variations of this popular scam. Uh, so BBB does recommend that consumers visit the site when they can and never ever wire any kind of security deposit to somebody that they don't know. Those funds are very difficult to track. Joe says Zillow and Hotpads both removed the phony ads as soon as they were notified, but she wants home sellers and potential renters to be aware of these kinds of scams. I'm News 4 troubleshooter Jay Owl. If there is something you would like the troubleshooters to 